Okay, Sir Ernie, bumati po muna kayo. Okay, I'd like to greet everybody who is viewing a live stream. I'm Ernie Sarangaya, live from here, from Puerto Princesa City. Again, to all the puppeteers, Petril Lopez, and all the happiest and, and professional puppeteers, good day to all of you out there. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yan po si Sir Ernie Sarangaya. The curator of the puppet house in Puerto Princesa in Palawan. Uh, we would like to ha uh, we would like to do this discussion in English because we are expecting people from all over the world to come and join us. Either they're watching this live right now or on replay. Ang problema nito, nosebleed na naman ako. Meron ba tayong hinandang tissue? <laughs> Sir Ernie, please yes. tell us about the Puppet House in Puerto Princesa in Palawan. Go ahead. Yeah. This was my concept, uh, I think, late 2000, way back in uh, Manila. But then, it did not materialize. But Last December, I started coming up with some uh, puppets from upcycled materials. But then, because of the Typhoon of Z, it devastated my place. And I just started again this May. Here in my place, you will see puppets, different kinds of puppets from recycled materials, upcycled materials, paper bags, spoons, cups. Uh, paper plates, foams, and a lot of other materials which you can transform into puppet. Wow, that is very, very interesting, Sir Ernie. Uh, I can see that behind you there's a big marionette. A marionette is a string-operated puppet. Does it actually work? The Pinocchio, four meters and six inches. Four meters and six inches. Yeah, that I think this is the tallest Pinocchio marionette in the whole world. The tallest Pinocchio marionette in the world can be found in Puerto Princesa in Palawan. <laughs> Aba. Okay. Of course, yeah. wow, and even again. I'd like to uh, invite you for a tour, my place, if you want mine. Yes, please go ahead. I came up with, of course, all love. I want a love. 
And oh, kids from the 90s, you're familiar with. I saw one look playing with his toy. I got a big one. What is five? Do you want to battle with one now? Then come visit me here. And let's look over the side. See these tires? Came up with something. And a puppet from old used bottles. And a tree. Came up with a tree. And also here, some clown puppets. <laughs> Two of them. And I got a mannequin. I asked from a friend and I uh, turned it into another puppet. And I have a place here. I named it Palawan Wildlife. This is uh, endemic. In Palawan, we have 232 endemic animals here in Palawan. This is just a few of it. To name some, we have the blue nape parrot or picoy, the Palawan tree squirrel. Yes, we have squirrel here at the scene. The Palawan bear cat, known as Pinterum. And the Palawan peacock pheasant, or Tangigan, endemic here in the Philippines, in the Puerto Princesa. Of course, the water monitor lizard, Bayawa. We have our own species of monitor lizard here in Puerto Princesa. Long-tailed monkeys, and of course the red vented cockatoo of Catala, and the Palawan hornbill known as Talusi. Okay, well, you will see over there, instead of uh, placing those trunks like that, it came up with something at least to look like a puppet. Also, I'm an environment, environmentalist, that's why old tires, I don't throw it away. I use it to promote environmental care. Oh, see the bottles? Now, we're moving inside my place, where you will see some of the puppets. Move over here. And... It's on the mineral water bottle. From a tarpaulin roll. And as I said, I recycled, I have cycled things. Came up with a toy soldier from cardboard, from boxes. And some of my puppets over there. Some of my collections. And here, puppetry is the art of bringing to life through skillful manipulation and inanimate object called puppets. Well, what are puppets? It's an image figure or pictorial representation representing a human, animal, or mythical figure that is animated when you move it around or manipulated by a person called puppeteer. Uh, the, those are the philosophies. Well, puppetry here in Philippines started during Spanish time. Yes, during Spanish time. You know our uh, national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal, he told us a story, uh, he told us a story about the monkey and the turtle. You know what he used? He used here, the shadow puppet called Carillo. The monkey and the turtle. And of course, from Japan, we have the Bunraku, the traditional uh, Japanese puppet. From uh, Indonesia, the Wayang Golek, the traditional Indonesian puppet. And of course, Wayang Kulit, the traditional Indonesian shadow puppet. Well, I also have stick puppets here. Finger puppets, spoon puppets. You know what? One time I was able to get this thing. I said I can turn it into a puppet. Even... Uh, I, I think it's a pot holder. See? Pot holder. What I did, just place ping pong ball, put an eye. Now I have another puppet using the pot holder. See? Being creative. And of course, some of cardboard. I made a diorama here using some small puppets and paper plate puppets. Those only are a sample of it. Sock puppets, they're already clean. 
Battle Puppets here. Over there too. Hey, Ernie. Sir Ernie, hey. can you hear me? Sir Ernie, I'd like to yes. ask you. Uh, the yes. place looks very nice. Very, very nice. You have puppets from all over the world. You have puppets from Southeast Asia, puppets from Asia, puppets from all over the world. Do you have puppets from other planets? Oh, other planets. This one, an alien. Hello. Another alien. <laughs> la, la. Can you close up for Mr. Cameraman? Close up the alien. Yeah. Nako, yan yung nawawala kong nanay. Nanay, <laughs> ano yung nawawala? Eh, tagal na kita kinahanap. This Hindi. is your cousin. Cousin? Hello? Yeah. Oh. Cousin, tell me, Tabby. Tell me, Tabby. And some of the Tell-y. puppets. Oh, that is tell me, Tabby. Uh, sino nga ba yung Tito Walu? Tell me, Tabby. Uh, Lala. Hello, Lala. <laughs> Lala. I forgot their names. Actually, Lala. I forgot their names. When I talk about biblical stories, I use them. Wow. You Can have you so know? many puppets, Sir Ernie. Ladies and gentlemen, we are yeah. still with Mr. Ernie Sarangaya. This is uh, the House of Puppet or the Puppet House in Puerto Princesa in Palawan, curated by Mr. Ernie Sarangaya. Oh, Tito Ernie, the dog puppet looks so real. When I talk about the importance of eating uh, fruits, I have your banana. importance of eating vegetable, I use this puppet. About senior citizen, of course. About flora and fauna. Taking care of our environment, of plants, and of course, plants. And of course, I have a uh, puppet studio, small, small one. I use this one to teach about importance of breathing. This one for puppet care. And here in Puerto Princesa, there's a known figure. It's a person who uh, did a lot of things. He's the catalyst to make Underground River famous. It's, it's a formerly called uh, Pambansang Mayor, now is a congressman, Edward Agedorn. Wow. Oh, uh, that, that's not a puppet, huh? Over there. Sir it's, Ernie. It's not a puppet. <laughs> Sir Ernie, our friend James Marshall, the owner of Puppets, the one who de- de- uh, designed me and created me, is watching right now. Uh, you might want to say hello to James Marshall. He can probably send you some puppets you can display on your museum. That's great. Hello, James Marshall. Uh, that, that's great. Uh, I'm excited about it. I wish I could have some of yours here and place make a place for your puppet here. Yeah, please do he so. Said, he said, want to visit Palawan and meet Ernie. There you go. Yeah, I'll give you my address. Yeah, okay. That is very nice to know, Sir Ernie. All right, Sir Ernie, uh, I before you go around in other yeah. areas of your museum, I'd like to ask you, how long did it take you to collect all these puppets? Since when did you start collecting all these puppets? Well, as a professional performer, uh, way back, 19... 19- late 1990s i already have a quite collection of puppets but never came up with coming up with a puppet house i just have it for several shows then uh, when i came up with a school i have a school in novaliches i displayed some of them but still haven't had the idea yet but then after several years i said why not come up with a uh, mini puppet museum but still uh, collecting puppets still not a passion for me. This passion hit me real hard. Well, just December and early this year, early this year, I move around, I gather. I yeah, there there are a lot of thrift shops here. 
I move around looking for uh, some, some puppets and I can buy and I can collect. And for them, they don't mind. For them, it's, it's not a wealth for them. For me, it's a treasure. So I, I have to get it and I have to uh, really bring it here and put, give them a nice place, like some of the puppets over there. See? Oh, so by the way. I'd like to ask you, do you accept visitors in the museum like students and teachers and librarians or tourists? Very good question. As a professional tourist guide, a DOT accredited one and licensed one, whenever I have a city tour, a tour moving around the city, I bring my guests here. And I saw the delight in their faces whenever they move around, they, they, because it's an interactive, they can play with the puppets, they can have picture with it, they can manipulate some, they can try some. And my plan is, is to open this thing in several schools as a part of their field trip. It's going to be an interactive, there's a presentation, there's a little bit of a, a, a little bit of workshop, they can come up with a puppet by using the paper bags, something like this. And right. I can also teach history. Like this guy. He fought with his so oh, 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 fell down. Sorry. That's Andres, That's Andres Bonifacio. <laughs> yeah. He fought with his uh, bolo. Well, yeah. his result oh. fell down. <laughs> he fought with his uh, pen. Well, here are some. Our boxing legends. Rocky Balboa. And of course, Manny Pacquiao. And over on that side, we have uh, martial arts legends, Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm Very going to turn this place into a marine type. We're going to put big sea turtle. I'm still going to try. Actually, I would say this is only a uh, 75% complete. Oh, there are I lots see. of things to do. Still work in progress, huh? Yes. And you know what? I move around. I bought a uh, doll over here, one of the malls, and turn it into a marionette. They can dance Paro Paro G. Paro Paro G. Oh, fly high. <laughs> Just an ordinary doll, turn it into a marionette. Wow, you are very creative, Sir Ernie. Very creative. And, oh, thank uh, you very much. And we love your place so much. Uh -huh. oh, thank you. Uh, I hope you can visit me here. Yes, we will. The idea is so diverse that uh, you can teach anyone about anything. Martial arts history, yes. health, uh, history of Palawan, history of puppetry, animals. Uh, what else do you have? Uh, environment. Almost everything. Science, math, almost science. everything. Wow. We would love to visit your place. How could we go there? Is there a particular uh, entrance fee if you want to go? Or, well, or what? as of now, I don't charge any entrance fee. It's only donation. Uh, oh. Whatever your heart feels giving, don't be shy. Allow your heart to be generous. But uh, in the future, maybe I will come up with an entrance fee of a nominal fee of maybe, maybe uh, 30 pesos only. Just a minimal amount to maintain the area and, of course, to come up with uh, other puppets. And some of the proceeds, uh, I do outreaches for the children. That will help me in reaching out these children. Wow, so I would, ladies I would really and gentlemen, for those of you who are watching outside the Philippines, 30 pesos is less than one US dollar, maybe around yes. uh, uh, maybe yes. around 60 centavos, 60 US cents. So 30 pesos is uh, less than one dollar. So that makes it really? very, very yes. affordable. Very, very reasonable. And Sir Ernie, even students paying for 30 pesos would find it very, very reasonable to visit uh -huh. your puppet center. 
Uh, do you also teach students how to manipulate puppets? Yes, yes, yes. It's part of it. Actually, this so, morning, I, I had a Zoom meeting. I, I was a guest speaker in the St. Patrick's School talking with the teachers. I talk about puppetry as a pedagogical tool in education. That's the first part. We're going to have a series of it. And uh, it was really nice. And I said, how I wish we can do it hands-on so that I can really teach you how to make some puppets. And I, I told them this coming school year, ho hopefully by August, September, I'm expecting some students to be here and I'm preparing some uh, paper bags. I don't throw paper bags. I keep it because uh, my future plan is to let the students use it using some uh, colored paper, glue. They can come up with the puppet of their own. So before leaving the place, they have uh, their own puppet. Sir Ernie, that's hitting two birds with one stone, teaching them about puppetry and also teaching them about recycling. Exactly. That exactly. is a very, very cool idea, Sir Ernie. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Sir Ernie is one of the oldest. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not Senior. oldest. Senior, <laughs> one of the pioneer, like puppeteers. One. Senior. <laughs> pioneer puppeteers in the Philippines. Senior citizen, Ay, mali, 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 mali. Senior puppeteer in the Philippines. Yes. And we have learned so much from Sir Ernie. And just by looking at the puppet house that he established in Puerto Princesa in Palawan, you can tell that he is so passionate about puppetry. And yeah. oh, by the way, Sir Ernie, uh, who funded the puppet house in Puerto Princesa? Is it you, or or did you ask help from uh, uh, an NGO or uh, the local government? Actually, uh, none, no help at all. From my pocket and from moving around, gathering bottles from the trash. I would really appreciate, I would really appreciate if there's somebody who could help me out so that I can uh, come up with a lot of things. Some of the materials I used here are actually uh, just a, uh, what, how I would say, I would say uh, instead of using an expensive one, I use a very cheap one. But the durability is not that good. It's not that good. But hoping someday if I'm going to have some cash or some funds, I can make a better puppet from this, a better quality that, puppet that will last longer than the ones that I have now. Sir Ernie, Sir Ernie, I am losing signal. Somebody is getting my signal. It's my arch nemesis, Salagubang. Ah, <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Ernie, <laughs> wala na si Salagin to. Ako si Salagubang. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you Salagubang. <laughs> Ako, that is right. I am Salagubang. Ernie, uh, before you continue, I would like to talk to the people of Palawan watching this <laughs> live stream. You don't know, you probably don't realize it yet, that the puppet house in your Puerto Princesa in Palawan is something very special. If you help Mr. Ernie Sarangaya after this pandemic, expect a lot of tourists from all over the world to visit Puerto Princesa, not only because of your very, very nice place, but also because of this puppet house, my Sir Ernie. So when you said earlier that nobody's helping you, oh my gulai, I feel so bad, Sir Ernie. I hope the local government in Palawan will start helping you because you deserve help. Ay, naubusan ako ng English. <laughs> Go ahead, Sir Ernie. Babalik na daw si Salaginto. Go ahead, tell us more. <laughs> Thanks, Salaguba. <laughs> Thanks, Salaguba. Yeah. Now, where's Salaginto? I like I like Salaginto because, wow, gold. <laughs> I am back, Sir Ernie. Pasensya yeah. na. 
kayo, etong si Salago bang kontra bida. He wants to take the limelight all the time. So sometimes he gets the signal. So Ernie, uh, yes. I think Salag Salago bang has a very good point. Uh, really, it's, yes. It's so sad that nobody is helping you. Uh, probably they don't realize yet that your puppet house is such a treasure for Puerto Princesa. I mean, uh, Puerto Princesa is already a tourist destination, but with yeah. this puppet house, you are going to attract more people in your area. Don't you think so? Hope so, yeah. Actually, I've talked with some of the friends I have. They're really planning to visit my place here. Some of the teachers, they say, yeah, we'd like to organize a, a tour going to your place because they wanted to see this place. I said, wow, that's going to be great. I think so too. And uh, hopefully after this pandemic, uh, we were told that uh, children will start going back to school face to face. So this will be a very, very interesting idea, not only for students in Palawan, but for nearby areas in Puerto Princesa. Please do visit uh, the Puppet House in Puerto Princesa in Palawan. And uh, please do try to help Sir Ernie if you're from Puerto Princesa. Help him promote the art of puppetry. And by promoting the art of puppetry, Tito Ernie also promotes environmental awareness, yes. uh, health, uh, values. History, values, you name it. With the help of puppetry, everything can be done and can be taught. Uh, through the health of Mr. Ernie Sarangaya. Sir Ernie, before we say goodbye, would you, is there anything else you would like to show us? Uh, maybe you can show us the big Pinocchio puppet again? Yeah, please, follow me. There you go. Let's go outside and check out the biggest Pinocchio puppet in the world. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Wow. Wow. All right. You can tell that Sir Ernie is such a passionate uh, puppeteer just by having... Uh, Woody. Oh, there's Woody. Hello, Woody. Yeah, Woody. Just by looking at this puppet house, which he funded and created on his own, you can tell that this guy, Sir Ernie Sarangaya in Puerto Princesa in Palawan, is so passionate when it comes to puppetry and teaching. Uh, Sir Ernie, uh, before we end the show, go ahead. Please tell everybody how to get in touch with you and uh, schedule a visit in your puppet house in Puerto Princesa. Yeah, if, if you want to get in touch with me or you have any queries or anything, well, you can contact me through Messenger. Just Ernie Sarangaya, S A. R A N G A Y A. Also, if you want, you can message me through my uh, Gmail account, Ernie Sarangaya12 at gmail.com. Again, Ernie Sarangaya, Ernie E R N I E Sarangaya S A R A N G A Y A. You can also so, go visit my uh, YouTube account, Ernie Sarangaya. So, Ernie. Sir James Marshall said, please send him an email. I will send you his email address. All right? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Okay. James Marshall. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Ernie, don't go yet. Don't go yet. Before we end the show, we'd like to show you the puppets of Mr. James Marshall. Don't leave. What's that? Don't leave. All right. 
these are the puppets that we use on the show, courtesy of Mr. James Marshall. If you're interested, you can always get in touch through www.puppets.net. All right. These are the puppets that we use on in the stream if you want to help us our gcash number is here 9215483090 or you can send stars to support the stream all right uh sir ernie uh yes. go ahead uh, please don't forget i will send you the email address of sir james marshall because he said thank you very much for that to get in touch with him. So please do get in touch with him. Uh, in a matter of a uh, few weeks or months, you'll have some puppets in your puppet museum. More people to, uh, more, more reasons to enjoy and plan visiting the puppet house in Puerto Princesa. So you can see puppets just like me in the museum. Go ahead, sir, Ernie, before we say goodbye. Yeah, you're thank you, you Thank you to Salagubang and to my friend Nicolo and of course Juan Liu. Thank you very much to you guys. Sir James Marshall, thank you very much too. And for all the professional puppeteers there out there, if you want to send some of your old puppets, instead of putting it in your in your bag in one corner of your room, send it here and we're going to find a nice place for your old puppets. Wow, that is a very, very good idea. Instead of having your old puppets, uh, you know, uh, just placed inside a bag or a box, please send it to Sir Ernie and more children, more students will benefit from those unused puppets. Yeah, and I'm going to put a caption. Put a caption. Uh, this is uh, the puppet of, of Ben Tiger. Of, I would mention the name of the performer. For example, for example. This is a known marionette Dolphy from Wan Liu, a famous so and so and so and so. <laughs> Very good. I will tell Sir Tito Wan Liu <laughs> about it. <laughs> okay, Sir Ernie, it's such a big, big pleasure. We will uh, edit this video and post it on YouTube and on Kumu. And more people will be mine. able to watch this. And more people will be aware of your passion and all your hard work in puppetry by establishing the puppet house in Puerto Princesa. Thank you very much, Sir Ernie. And Pleasure. one day, one day, God willing, we will visit your puppet house. It's already in our bucket list. Hope to see you. All right. Bye bye, sir. Ernie. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Yay. Sir Ernie Sarangaya. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Sir Ernie Sarangaya of the Puppet House in Puerto Princesa in Palawan. Such a very, very passionate man when you talk about puppets. And we'd like to visit the Puppet House someday. Awesome, awesome work. Thank you very much, Sir Ernie. Before we say goodbye, please don't forget. Napa-English tuloy ako kay Sir Ernie. Kaya kami nag-English ni Sir Ernie because we want uh, people from all over the world to know about the Puppet House. Before we say goodbye, huwag niyo pong kakalimutan. Laging pinapaalala ni Kuya Daniel Rason, huwag mong sikaping maging mabuti ka. Sa paningin ng iba, ang sikapin mo, maging mabuti ka sa paningin ng Diyos. Thank you very much and goodbye everyone. Tito Juan Lu, say goodbye. Alright, Sir Ernie, thank you very much for joining us. Salamat po. Thank you, Sir Ernie. Sir Ernie, salamat, salamat, salamat. Sir Ernie, salamat, salamat. Thank you very much for doing this. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you're planning to visit the Philippines, there's another reason why you should visit uh, Puerto Princesa in Palawan. Aside from the very, very nice place, aside from uh, the awesome uh, uh, tourist destination, aside from the fact that it's an awesome tourist destination, now that we have the puppet house 
in Puerto Princesa, you have another reason why you should visit Puerto Princesa in Palawan when this pandemic is over, uh, hopefully soon. All right? Thank you very much for joining us. Um, daghang salamat. Thank you very much, Sir Ernie Sarangaya of the Puppet House in Puerto Princesa, Palawan. Bye! Bye, everyone! Help me hide my lonesome feeling Far away